There's lots of different ways to make shelves, but today most of the shelves that we make are made out of a piece of plywood like this with something to cover the edge of the, uh, of the grain because that's obviously not very attractive. And uh, again, there's lots of different ways that I can attach this piece to that plywood, but if I want a really tight joint and I want it to look like it almost grew that way, I'm gonna clamp it. Again, there's, there's times that there, I, I use other methods, but this particular shelf is going in a really highly visible cabinet right inside the front door. And so I want it to look like a piece of furniture. I want it to look like, again, this nosing almost grew on this piece of plywood. So what I'm gonna do is put glue on here and I'm gonna use enough headless pins to hold this nosing piece in place until I can clamp it. I don't know if you've ever tried to do this without having any kind of fasteners to hold it or not, but you, know, you put that glue on there and the next thing you know, your edge piece is just going all over while you're trying to clamp it. So I like to put a headless pin, you know, maybe every foot, maybe a little bit more often to hold it until I can clamp it. All right, so let's take a look at how this works. I'm gonna spread a pretty good bead of glue on here. Because the perfect amount of glue is gonna let just a little bit of it pop out on the top side and I'll sand it down. And if anything, when you're doing this, if you're a 30 second high, it's okay. You don't wanna be low because it'll really ruin the look of the shelf if you're sanding along and you sand through that veneer. Again, the reason I know that is because I've done that. Now when the painter gets through, you won't even be able to see these headless pins. If I was putting a, a 15 gauge finish nail or some bigger fastener through here, on a really nice piece, those holes would be a distraction. Okay, now, as you can see, I've got kind of a gap there. I'm gonna take and use a strip to protect that so I don't uh, mar that piece of wood any with the clamps. It really doesn't take as much pressure as you might think to, uh, to suck that up. But there we go. That's what we're looking for is that little bit of glue squeeze out like that. And it just depends. I mean, you may be able to get away with a clamp. You know, that's about every foot, 10 inches, something like that. Put one more clamp down this end. And then we'll just set this aside. Come back, I think in half an hour or so, and we'll scrape that glue off, sand it down, and we're gonna find that it's almost a seamless joint.